So it is the end of the 66th Safari Rally, uh, very rainy conditions uh, here in Naivasha. We are at the Sopa Lodge and congratulations, a fifth Safari win, equaling the legendary Sheka Mehta, Carl Flash Tundo and Tim Jessup uh, winning the 66th Safari Rally. In second place, it was Boldev Chaga and Jess Manget. Flash, congratulations, first of all. Uh, fifth Safari win, how special is this? Yeah, it's as good as the first, second, third or fourth. Um, it was tough out there. Super, super happy. I'm, I'm over the moon. How tricky was it out there? Uh, we saw one or uh, two sort of near misses. Uh, how tricky was it? No, you always have near misses. So long as you're driving at 150%, you're going to have whoopsies. But, you know, uh, everything stayed together and, and we ended up on top, which has been a long time coming. How emotional is this win for you? It's a shame Onka wasn't with us, but um, you know, gods weren't with him this time, but we, we move on. Uh, Boldev Chaga is in second place. Uh, Boldy, uh, a great win for you. Uh, how special was this second place for you? Uh, well, it was uh, actually fantastic for us, for after all the challenges that we've had. Very surprised and very pleased to be in this position. Uh, more importantly, to get all the points we can. So I believe we should be very close to the top of the championship or leading the championship points-wise. I'm not too sure. We need to calculate that now. Um, it was unfortunate what happened to our own teammate. That's how we inherited second position. But it's how the name uh, of the game is and uh, we look forward to the rest of the season now. The whole of yesterday, day two, we had, I think, 30 to 40 percent less power on the engine because uh, we had a, a turbo problem, which the, the team couldn't sort out, which they managed at the end of the day because they had enough time. Uh, today, we were just in a vacuum. We couldn't really push because Onkar was two and a half minutes ahead. Uh, Just was, I think, five minutes behind. So we were just stuck in a vacuum. And unfortunately, within that, we also managed to get a puncher, but we managed to, to, to salvage the second position from Jas very closely, though. All the way from Uganda, uh, Jas Bangat, uh, how special is this for you? No, it's wonderful. It's, uh, I mean, it was really a, a result we didn't expect coming in uh, from, the day, from day one. Our pace wasn't uh, matching the top, the top pace, frankly. And um, we were trying to figure out why, uh, you know, different reasons. We've been out of the sport for a couple of years, trying to get back in. Uh, but yeah, I think we, we benefited from the misfortune of a few other crews. Uh, how do you rate uh, Kenya motorsports? Uh, I think Kenya is definitely at a, at a very high level. Uh, at least I could say the top seven or top eight cars. Um, and it's well organized. Uh, but I mean, every country has its pros and cons. Uh, in Uganda, our fans uh, just take over the sport to a new level. And I don't see Kenya doing that <laughs> anytime soon. Are you competing in the rest of the Africa Championship? Um, now we've got points. We're going to go home and just review and, and take it from there. All right, so that wraps it for the 66th uh, Safari Rally. I remember this is part of the WRC project. Uh, so what they're expecting next year, they'll await feedback from the WRC and from the FIA uh, to find out whether this event will be a candidate event for the 2020 World Rally Championship. Sean Carter-Villas, NTV in Naivasha.